Hi, this is Alex from phpacademy.org with a video tutorial for the new Boston. In this video, we are going to be creating a paragraph. We're then going to be going ahead and finding all strong tags or anything that's surrounded by strong inside of this paragraph or inside of our entire document, depending on which selector we use. Uh, and we're going to make this 120% of its original size. So, for example, we'll receive an effect a bit like this. This is a simple paragraph. This has been put in strong tags. Uh, the font size is enlarged. And this one here is in strong tags as well. And that's been enlarged as well. So we're going to be creating something similar to this. Although this isn't really a great use uh, of uh, find uh, it's still to demonstrate how we can sort of pick out different elements in the tutorial in the traversing uh, set of this series uh, I use find uh, more usefully so you can go ahead and look at that tutorial as well but for now we're just going to be demonstrating the functionality and how we might use it so the first thing I'm going to do is go ahead and create a paragraph I'm just going to say this is a paragraph uh, some things are bold and some are not. Okay, so uh, I'm just going to go ahead and put some strong tags around uh, a few things in my page. So strong, and we could say bold in strong as well. And maybe we could put not in strong as well, just sort of for effect. So uh, now when we refresh, you can see that we've got bold, bold, and bold. Now what I want to do is go ahead and make these bigger by using find and finding strong tags in my page. Now obviously we could go ahead and do this from style.css. I've got style.css included in my page already. So for example, I could specify that all strong uh, has a font size of 120%. So I could do this straight up from my um, style.css file. Um, however, I could then go ahead and use jQuery to sort of filter this down and select particular elements on a page. So we'll go ahead and get rid of that. Uh, inside ext.js, which I've included on my page as well as jQuery, we're going to go ahead and select all uh, strong tags on our document, uh, or we're going to say we're going to say find. So uh, you know, sort of a pretty useless idea of using it, but you know, we can go ahead and test it anyway. So. Um, once our document is ready, we're using the ready event handler. Once the DOM is loaded and we can access our elements, we want to go ahead and select uh, document.find. Now, what find's going to go and do is it's going to find anything on the document which matches this criteria. So I'm going to go ahead and write strong. I'm then going to go and say add class. I could, you know, go ahead and change the CSS if I wanted using CSS, but I'm going to go and add the class big. Uh, inside style.css, I need to now need to create this big uh, class. So I'm going to go ahead and create it now. So big. And in here, we're going to specify that the font size is 120%. So uh, what we are doing is inside of our whole entire document altogether, we are saying that we're finding strong tags using find and we're adding the class big to them. Uh, so, you know, obviously something you might not normally do. When we refresh, we get the same effect. Uh, let's just go and change that to 130. Refresh, you can see it's bigger. Now, the beauty of this is what we can actually do is now what we can say is strong. So when we refresh, we have the same effect, yet anything out of this paragraph that is strong, strong, uh, we can go ahead and say, you know, just outside of paragraph. Now, when we refresh, you can see that this is bold, uh, i.e., strong, but the text size hasn't been increased. So, what we've been able to do here is any strong tag inside of P, so we found any strong tag inside of the uh, any P element. We've added the class to, but we've ignored anything out of this bounds. So before we were using document, which applied to the whole document, and then you can see that's been enlarged as well. But this time we're using a selector and going ahead and finding any strong tag inside, uh, and then going ahead and adding this class on. So this is a pretty useless example of what we would do, although you know you could apply it to your page for some kind of weird text effect. However, um, in the tutorial on next, next all, previous, and previous all, um, 
I look at the you know using a more useful way to use find uh, but for now this is just the functionality of find uh, and how we can sort of apply something uh, to it uh, using a selector and then finding a particular tag